Sonic, a character created the rival the Mario series, has been going fast since 1991, first appearing on the 16-bit Sega Genesis, also known as the Mega Drive outside of North America. But as always, what cut content do these games have to offer? Hello and welcome to the Cut Content Of, a show where we try to find content that you aren't able to see in some amazing games. Today we're looking at the classic retro game featuring a speedy blue hedgehog, Sonic. Today I'm going to be delving into the cut content of the first Sonic game, Sonic the Hedgehog, and having a look at Sonic CD 2. First let's look at the original Genesis version of the game. Also I'd like to thank TCRF.net for most of this information. Here's an unused sound. This sound effect was intended to play when a missile from a buzz bomber explodes. It doesn't sound very much like an explosion, but was probably swapped with another sound sometime during development. A secret level menu exists and can be accessed from the title screen by pressing up, down, left, right and then holding A and pressing start. If you're playing on a Japanese system, down must be pressed three times. Once you've done this correctly, a level select menu will appear and you can skip to whichever level you like. You can also listen to different sounds too. There's also a debug mode accessible through a different code. You can either use up C, down C, left C, right C, or C, C, up, down, left, right. You decide. Once the code has been entered, hold A and press start like with the level select code and keep A held until Sonic appears. If you'd like to use both codes at the same time, input the level select code, press any direction on the D-pad and then enter the debug mode code. With the debug mode, you can have debug coordinates, infinite time, invincibility and a sprite counter. Also, in the pause menu, you can press A to go to the title screen, B to enable slow motion, and C to enable frame advance. Pressing B in-game with this code enabled will enable placement mode. A allows you to move forward by one object, A and C will move backward by one object, and C will place the object. The Japanese version uses slight variations of the codes. The debug mode code is C, 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 up, down, 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 left, right, then hold A and press start. To get to the pause options, the code is C, C, up, down, 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 left, right. On a Japanese system, you can also show an unused credit screen by using the code C, 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 up, down, 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 left, right, and then pressing down A, B and C at the same time. After viewing these hidden credits, an unused press start button sprite will appear on the title screen. Some other unused sprites are an unused enemy called Splats the Bunny, which had a trading card and figurine but never made it into the game. Goggles to be placed over Sonic sprites. An unused Switch sprite. A chunk of grass which doesn't match any palette in the game. An unused explosion animation. Some unused sprites for Eggman exploding, probably intended for the ending. Some unused monitors, including one with the unused goggles. Hmm. An unused sprite of Sonic gasping for air. A sequence of unused sprites for Sonic holding his breath. Unused victory sprites, later included in Sonic Mania, albeit slightly modified. An unused sliding sprite, also used in Sonic Mania with slight modification. Some sprites showing Sonic gradually shrinking, and some sprites like the spin dash. An unused warping effect exists in the code, probably intended as a way to get to the special stage. If the game crashes, it will show something like this on the screen, saying illegal instruction. Next, let's look at the Master System and Game Gear version of the game. The developers Ancient ported the game over, and there is unused text for the title screen crediting them. However, Sega were the only company to receive the credit on the title screen. Here are some unused sounds that were left in the game. And here's an unused version of the Marble Zone theme in the Master System version. In the final game, the Marble Zone was not included. In the Master System version exists an unused background for the credit screen, with blue triangles instead of yellow and blue stars. Some unused sprites exist for a ground segment, some kind of door, an unused neutron, a shield and the bat brain, an unused enemy. Now let's look at the 2013 remake of the original Sonic the Hedgehog game. 
Just like the original, this version has the hidden credits too. When starting a new game, tap each letter of the Sega logo from right to left and you'll be there. Also, Tails is now referenced by his real name, Miles. This version has not one, but two hidden level select screens. To get to one of these screens, you must start a new game and tap each letter of the Sega logo from left to right. Then hold two fingers at the bottom of the screen and there you go. If you're using a controller, you can press up, down, left, right on the title screen and then hold the jump button and press start. Now you'll see the level select screen. Here you can choose any level. To pick a specific special stage, change the sound test number to the special stage number. 1 to 6 are the special stage numbers and 7 will take you to the unused 7th special stage. Yes, that took me 10 tries. There's also some extra settings. You can choose the character or characters you play as, which are Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Sonic and Tails, or Knuckles and Tails. Speed and Dash can be switched on or off. Ground Speed Cap, which if on, will simulate the settings of the original game. Air Speed Cap, which will if on, also simulate the settings of the original game. S1 Spikes, which if on, will turn on the No Invincibility Frame Spikes from the original game. Items, which decides which monitors show up in the game. Max Emerald, which chooses between 6 or 7 Chaos Emeralds. From here you can also access a secret debug mode by playing sounds 1, 9, 9, 1, 0, 6, 2 and 3. Hold on a minute. While playing the game, tapping the top left corner of the screen will switch to the debug mode. The plus or minus at the top of the screen will switch between items being placed. The second level select screen shows up if you choose a save file with a completed game. This screen does not have the special stage and only lets you select the first act of a zone. The background also says Miles too. Sonic CD came out for the Sega CD in 1993 and contains lots of unused and hidden content. First, you can get to a level select screen by pressing up, down, down, left, right, and then B while on the title screen. From here, you can choose a level. There's also a separate sound test screen accessible with the code down, 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 left, right, A. You've probably seen some of the creepy images from this screen, but more on those later. Right now, let's listen to some of the unused sounds you can find from this section. Here's another unused sound which will play when the game disc is placed in a CD player and by playing track 2. Five different images can be seen from the sound test screen. One is Tails standing in front of a car with a number plate saying Miles. Another is a tribute to Batman. A third one depicts Sonic, Eggman and Metal Sonic as DJs. The fourth is a cute drawing of Sonic with text that translates to You are cool. Finally, the creepy image of Sonic with Japanese text on top. Setting all of the sound test numbers to 7 will say Welcome to Secret Special Stage and play a Secret Special Stage. When this stage is completed, you'll see this secret credit screen. A screen with a banner saying Coming Soon exists in the game files, originally from the first prototype of the game. A sequence of unused sprites exist which show Sonic sneezing like he does here in the intro FMV. In the intro video, Sonic's eyelids are the same colour as his face, but in the sprites his eyelids are pure white. Some other unused sprites are Sonic looking over his shoulder, a series of sprites for Sonic falling, Sonic waving his arms around while running, Sonic being electrified, Sonic falling upside down, Sonic grabbing something, Sonic holding onto a pole, Sonic hanging, Sonic falling backwards, Sonic jumping forwards, Sonic jumping to the side, Sonic skidding, Sonic shrugging, and Amy with hearts in her eyes, which were repurposed for the 2011 remake of the game. Finally, three unused monitors exist in the files, including the S1, which was unused in the original game. Thank you for watching this episode of the Cut Content Of. You can support the show by pledging some money at patreon.com slash tcco, subscribing, sharing, turning on notifications, or just watching some of our other videos. If you'd like to, you can leave a suggestion for a future episode in the comment section below. But that's it for this episode. Bye!